A really cool tip for you. It's starting to get cold outside. And this tip doesn't pertain to just winter time, but it also pertains to summertime because we, we, we try to make it a habit to do this in the summertime too, but it's using pump protector or antifreeze or RV antifreeze in your vehicles. And so I got Captain Zach, he's playing pro tip Pete today because he's got a pro tip for you. So why don't you tell us why we use this? What are some of the benefits and why we use say RV antifreeze versus uh, this is a kind of a common one you'll see at your paint stores, it's Draco's pump protector. So you, you use pump protector to protect your pump against the elements, so you don't want your pump to freeze during the winter. And you also want to put it through your pump uh, all the time because it will keep that paint suspended in the hose, and that way it's not drying to the, the outside of the hose. Um, the reason we use our V uh, antifreeze is because it's made of most of the same stuff, specifically uh, propylene glycol. So they're mainly the same thing, but you get a ton more here instead of this little one right here. And that's a really key element of why we use our RV antifreeze. We used to use automobile antifreeze, but our, we found our RV antifreeze was even cheaper. And like Zach said, propylene glycol, they're kind of, they're, they're the same thing. They're just, I call up tech support and ask them, is this stuff the same as the auto antifreeze? And they kind of like didn't want to tell me that it was, but they said, yeah, it was. And then when I compared the price of this versus the price of that, I was like, wow, there's a big savings. And so like Zach said, one of the thing is, is um, you know, it's an anti-corrosive and it keeps the paint suspended. What have we been seeing? We've got some really expensive sprayers lately and they are stainless steel. What have we been seeing inside? They're, going on? they're starting to rust a little bit, which is not supposed to happen, but apparently it is an issue. So Yeah, which is really interesting because we're finding out there's different grades of stainless steel. I'm not a steel type of guy or metal type of guy, but we're noticing with some of the sprayers that some of them are rusting and some of them are not. And so it's kind of interesting when stainless steel is not supposed to rust. So by adding this in there, anti-corrosive, I, like I'm not a scientist, I'm not an engineer or a metal guy, but I would think it's gonna keep it from corroding and rusting. And also the one thing, Zach said, the paint, if you don't put this in there, the paint will have a tendency to gather and stick on the outside of the walls of the paint and also inside the pump. And what happens is when you go from, why don't you tell us, when you go from, say, using a water-based product to do a lacquer-based product, what happens that when well, you get... It, it's going to start out. to shed from those outside walls, all that paint that's starting to bond to it, and then you're going to have issues with priming, you're going to have issues with spits, uh, and you're going to be ruining tips a lot faster. It's just, it's a whole lot of problems all wrapped up in one. Yep, so that's a really key element. And for us, we don't, we don't cross contaminate sprayers. So we have lacquer sprayers that are just lacquer, just water sprayers. So we don't see that issue as much. But what happens is just latex paints. You start running lacquer through there. It dries it really hard and makes it brittle. So then when the hose moves around, it breaks in little pieces, causes those priming issues. The other thing is, is um, Zach brought up, is freezing. So this stuff is rated down to minus 50. In the summertime, it's not minus 50. It's not even freezing. So do we use this stuff full strength? Uh, no, we, 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 we usually cut it about 50-50 or maybe even down to 25%, depending on how cold it's getting, just to kind of save on some of that. Yep, so you definitely don't need to use it full strength. Now, in the wintertime up here, you know, how cold has it been, the coldest you've ever seen here in Boise? Um, you know, it can get down to about negative five, negative 10 degrees sometimes. Yep, I've seen it negative 10. I think I've seen it a little bit even colder than that here, but minus 10, this is rated down to minus 50, but it's not if you start diluting it. So in the wintertime, if we know it's wintertime and our sprayers are gonna be exposed to freezing, then you definitely don't want to dilute either one of these products. Or um, we use auto antifreeze, RV antifreeze. Um, we have used this, but we don't use it anymore because we just can't afford to buy this stuff. They treat it like gold, and yet it's blue. But um, so there you have some handy tips when it comes to that. We typically keep our sprayers inside. If you allow your sprayers to freeze, you're going to have problems. There's one, um, I think it's a, conduce, a, a transducer. 
Transducers, if your sprayers freeze, the transducers will go bad and that's gonna cost you money. We had several sprayers last year, our storage, the heater wasn't working, all the sprayers froze, and if they freeze, a hard freeze, you're gonna have issues, it's gonna cost you money. So don't let them freeze. Don't let them freeze. Now we got this beautiful little Paint Life Academy we could keep them in. We don't leave them in our vans, but we still put this stuff in them just as insurance, because they can even freeze if you're painting inside, but your pumps are in your vehicles and you're not spraying that day. So, and they're in your vehicles, just while you're working that day, they can freeze, and we've had that happen to us too. So there you have it, really cool tip from Captain Zach, playing Pro Pete. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. What should they do if they enjoyed the video, Zach? They should definitely give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, there's a little notification bell in the corner. You should definitely click that too if you like our videos so that you can you know, watch them as they come out. Hit that little notification bell. It's really, really important because you do get notified. Now they have this thing called premieres. You'll get notified when we do a premiere, when we go live, or when we have more videos. Leave a comment. If you do any of these things right here, I'm sure Zach would like to learn what you I do. I always read the comments. If so. you got some way that's going to do the same thing but cheaper, I would like to learn because I have to pay for this stuff. I'm the one that the money comes out of my pocketbook. So um, I don't know. Do you have anything else you want to add to this video, Captain? Nope. I think I'm good. He's good. I'm good. Hopefully you're good. We'll see you on our next video. Out.